Well, this is a bit of a different venture for Mar Vista Entertainment. Of course, I've looked at this, their films extensively on this channel before. If you're not familiar, Mar Vista Entertainment's more a television movie uh, company. They tend to do a lot of uh, relationship thrillers, which is why I'm familiar with them. This is not that. It's not the usual trope of their films of a girl meets a bad guy, which she doesn't know is a bad guy, mistakes him for a good guy, and then there are consequences sure to follow. This is different. So this is called Secrets in a Small Town. As I said, it's another thriller film, but it's also a drama and mystery film according to IMDb, and this is what it says uh, according to their synopsis. You'll see what I mean about the difference here. A mother's worst nightmare comes true when her teenage daughter goes missing. So a very horrifying experience, I'm sure, for any parent, but it's a nice deviation from our Vista movie because, you know, I've seen, I've actually, I haven't, I've covered plenty of their trailers, but I've finally gotten a chance to take a look at some of their movies. And apart from some exceptions, they're usually pretty similar in terms of the relationship plot line. I, I mean, each film has its own little unique spin on it, but the relationship aspect is very familiar with their plots for thrillers. So this is a bit of, again, a nice deviation and something more akin to, I would say, like My Stepdaughter or Nanny Cam. Well, even Nanny Cam was kind of a, well, no, that, that one was slightly different. Um, yeah, that one was. It wasn't the traditional Marvista thriller. But also, like I've said, but I hope, you know, the differences can continue, that, at least I'm seeing here with this trailer. But on some levels, I still think it's going to be a traditional Marvista video that I've done in the past, which... I don't know how many I've done at this point, but they all seem to operate like this for the most part. Again, not every film, but most of these projects do. They tend to spoil their trailers. So we have a, it's a nearly three minute trailer here, just like five seconds shy. So let's see if they actually keep the plot under wraps for the ending. Because they have a tendency to make these really short trailers almost feel like you're watching the entire movie, but it's really not. But let's see. So Secrets in a Small Town. We're going to watch, or I should say there's two titles. I like that one better, Secrets in a Small Town. It's a little more mysterious than Nowhere to be Found. I mean, that's more unique phrasing, I would think, but I don't know. Secrets in a Small Town sounds a little more interesting. I think that's definitely the title to go with. Uh, actually, sorry, there's three titles. Uh, they actually have stuck with two of Nowhere. That's not very marketable. I, I think Secrets in a Small Town works. As always, we're going to watch this first, and we're going to talk about it more in my condensed reviews and watch the video together. All right, let's see if this is any different. I hope it is. <laughs> But again, I've grown familiar with Marvista at this point. Very familiar. It's like the town that time forgot. Nothing wrong with a small town. People help each other out. It's nice. So you guys have a pretty good team, huh? Undefeated. Every single one of these girls has your back and they expect the same, okay? So I wonder how she this goes missing. We're taking nationals. Two, three, five! I got invited to this. But it seems like she's bonding. in a safe environment. Tonight? Yeah. Everyone's heading over there now. Well, I want you home by 11. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, right, that's a bit of a unique party, line. Animal. I was just wondering if any of you have seen Sarah this morning. Uh, no. no. So Sarah didn't stay over at your place last night? No. Doug, I think we should bring in the girls from the team. Excuse me? Well, at least well, you went to the police. That's a very Sarah. good direction what to exactly go to in this case. What exactly are you case. accusing them of? These Maybe. girls are the gold standard of this town. If my girls knew anything, if they had anything to do with this, I would know. You've upset a lot of people. They're upset? My daughter is missing. Folks around here are very protective of the girls on that team. And those girls are not telling the whole truth. They're hiding something. It's not just that there's secrets in a small town, party, but the time town is full of secrets. I just want my daughter back. Here's the populace. Mom? Stay here. It's kind of nice to see that all the schools are like working as, as a team effort. Or not all the school, all the girls. Mom, the team. you told me she was dead. She's still alive. We have to you already something. lied to the police. Are you willing to throw your whole life away for that girl? That girl killed herself because of what your team did to her. That was a very long time ago. You were the coach then. There is no hazing on my team. Not sure I believe that. Sarah? That was a unique shot. There are a lot of secrets. So maybe the team dynamic isn't going to help you. You need to tell me what happened to Sarah. No, 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 you tell me what happened to Sarah. Tell me. You know where we brought her to? Trust Cliff. Please stop. <laughs> it was an accident. No. There's something else. My mom and I found her in like this, this shack thing. What? Sarah? Well, move! I need you to move. You are gonna have to shoot me. Put the gun down. Right. 
there's your movie. <laughs> um, kids have surprised at that point. I'm like, okay. You know, once things started going into motion, I'm like, yeah, I think the teacher might be guilty. Well, the coach, not teacher. I will say that it's very well shot for our Vista movie, and I think the line about it being inspired by true events, you know, I always love films like that where there's actually a basis in reality, some story, uh, or it's more so just an adaptation of something that in the, they're contextualizing or whatever. I love stories like that. I do. I think it makes it extra dynamic. I think it's, you know, those are really informative shows. I think when you're retelling, especially for something like a thriller case, that's horrifying to think, though, that somebody would... Like somebody would get on a sports team and then this would happen. That's absolutely horrible. But I will say as a trailer, it's very well done. Um, I think the team dynamic seems very well explored. At least you don't get that very early on. So all the acting, I think, is phenomenal. And like the one shot, too, where all the car lights came in. I'm guessing they're car lights. That was, that was also very nicely shot as well. Um, but again, all the twists were there. The ending was there. And it was under two, it was under three minutes. There's your movie. <laughs> Can't say if this is the first time they have, this has happened. Um, there's been a lot of other films that they've done and a lot of trailers I've looked at where it's like, yeah, that was a really short film. Kind of a disappointment. <laughs> I mean, by and large, though, it does look good. Again, it looks like a very harrowing story. Um, a really good thriller. V very dark in a lot of ways. But again, very well, very well done. I just would prefer if they market their trailers. Maybe you just maybe they need to cut the trailers down a bit because they keep they still do this all the time with their thrillers. It still happens. I just don't know what gives. <laughs> I mean, they're not changing, and it's like we're all complaining about it, and everything stays the same. It's a bit of a disappointment, but by and large, at least the film looks good. I would be willing to give it a try eventually. You know, what do you? I mean, the past couple films that I've seen from Arvista, I have liked. Um, I just wish the trailers hadn't spoiled everything. But what do you guys think about... Well, I mean, I haven't seen too many that I covered on this channel. I did see Fatal Beauty. That was that was a very well-done film. Uh, kind of risque in parts, but well done. But again, there was another trailer where it was like, I'm watching it, and they spoiled the movie. End of the film. Clearly see the girl's nuts. Uh, but, uh, well, you don't see everything. You don't see everything. Like, there's an end shot in the movie. It's actually really clever. But most of these trailers, I mean, you can clearly see. They're not holding anything back, really. So, for the most part. But what do you guys think about secrets in a small town? Or, depending on if you want to refer to it differently, nowhere or nowhere to be found. Like, again, nowhere just does not work as a title. I think secrets in a small town is definitely the most beneficial out of all of them. Or, uh, uh, to, to the most benefit of the project. I think that would be more marketable. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget all the good stuff with Leggings coming to that bell. And until our next Mar Vista movie, because there's always more. <laughs> there's a lot of these, of these types of thrillers that they make. I mean, they, they make a couple other types of films. Like I said, Christmas movies. They make some romantic films. Make some comedies. But by and large, their thriller thing is their main engine. But So until we get to another one of those movies, I will see you guys at that point. But until then, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Remember to live so as your fellow man. God bless and peace.